Welcome back once again everyone, Prestigious Key here, and I got some serious hands-on time with the Revolution map pack inside of Treyarch. Got this exclusive pre-launch gameplay of Die Rise, and I'm going to be teaching you how to build the Slick of Fire buildable weapon. So let's go ahead and start in the Electric Room, which you can actually reach at round one as you see. Get onto the elevator after you activate the power and take it down one floor. Now, kind of comparable to the jet gun, you can build this weapon with parts found around the map. And they're all found in this general area. So you can find it generally in the cages. You can find it on the barrel on the couch blocking the stairs. You can find it in the kitchen and the other cages in the other room. All I know is you're going to need 1,000 points to unblock the stairs because the final part is always found between the couch and the TV upstairs. So let's go ahead, go upstairs, get the final part and make your prize. Now you're probably wondering, what does the Slickifier do? Does this have to do anything with the Easter egg? Honestly, I don't know. I, I didn't get, I got like four solid hours in on Die Rise and the rest I played Revolution Map Pack, but this thing is pretty sweet. So you can actually incinerate zombies and in the same time, drop an acid-like substance on the floor that actually makes it really slick. And you can slide across it, the zombies will slide and fall. I'm going to have a bunch of clips after this right here, after I show you how we build a slip and slide. This is actually pretty sweet. Building the slip and slide, yeah! But the slick of fire is actually pretty awesome. Like I said, I don't know if this has anything to do with an Easter egg. Um... Definitely keep in mind, though, that only one person can have it at a time. I'm not sure if there are more parts to this. Um, also keep in mind that you just seen a new perk machine in the background called Who's Who. This perk machine is actually pretty sweet. If you go down, you can come back as a ghost and revive yourself. I'm going to have a video on that in the next couple of days. Um, also, I want to point out in this part, you see the Who's Who's machine again. And I also find a nav card on the ground. And the nav card has to do something with the Easter egg or something because there's nav cards on transit. I have no idea. This is just huge, huge commotion in the zombies community. And I like pointing these things out. And I'm just glad that I had a chance to find these things before anyone else. So definitely take note of the nav card in this room. And we're in some serious trouble right here. As you can see, he has the who's who uh, perk. And I actually have it equipped myself right here. Um, you can see next to the Juggernog, and the zombies are just slipping and sliding. This last clip I want to show you is actually me defending by myself on round 12. What you're seeing there is actually a new buildable, which I will have a video for in the next couple of days, called the Trample Steam. And what it does is it's like a portable launcher so you can get from building to building. It also keeps zombies off of you. It helps... Uh, if you have the Slick of Fire, you can put the little purple acid-like refluxes in front of it. They will slide into the steam launcher and you will be able to escape. You can actually escape many enemies by flying over them. And I almost die right here. But luckily I get away. But guys, I don't know much about zombies. Tell me what you think. Let me know down below in the comment section. But guys, if you like this video, please drop a like. If not, that's cool. And keep in mind, I'm on the road to 50,000 subscribers. You can expect to see some more exclusive Call of Duty gameplay on my channel. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.